1998, he hears a joke about science that he believes is clever. He believes it's witty. Yet when he drops it into conversation with a lab assistant at work, she disagrees. And he drags himself back down the corridor in defeat. It's not a matter of taste, she tells him, but he is quantifiably wrong. It's 2001 when he applies for a new job. None of the panel only two laugh, only two look at him like benevolent and proud parents. The third takes notes. When the conversation takes a detour, when he's invited in to tell the story, he backs out. He places a finger on the edge of the desk and freezes. He is quantifiably wrong. when and if he can empty it. He loses a day at the summer doing so, piling junk and rubbish and memories on the drive to make way for what they said he could take. But it's two days before she noticed that the kites are gone. No one would steal that if it was left, he thinks. He's quantifiably wrong. It is this morning when he wakes up and everything's fallen into place. He reaches out over where she once lay and grabbed the red notebook of his life. She scrolls and laughs and talks like he isn't alone. And he knows he's changed the world. He knows he's changed everything. He knows that this is the day they will learn his name. He is quantified before.